everyone, I'm Megan, and this is Jesse. Hi! How was church today, Jesse? Ah, uh, not great. My teacher asked if anyone wanted to pray, and I said me. But then when I started, I got scared because I didn't know what to say. Everyone started looking at me. I, I didn't know what to do, so I just put my head down, and, and my teacher prayed. I felt so silly. Well, that's okay, Jesse. Things like that happen sometimes. The main thing is to remember that we pray to talk to God, not to make other people think that we're good at praying. Oh, you're right. In today's Bible story, Jesus told a story about two very different men who prayed two very different prayers. Let me tell you about it. Jesus met with a group of people who thought that they were better than everyone else. Jesus told them a story to teach them a lesson. Two men went into the temple to pray, Jesus said. One man was a religious leader. Religious leaders tried hard to make God love them. They tried to follow all the rules. They even made up new rules to follow. The other man was a tax collector, Jesus said. Many tax collectors were unfair and dishonest. People usually did not like tax collectors. At the temple, the religious leader stood alone and prayed, God, I thank you that I am not greedy, dishonest, and unfaithful like other people. I am glad I am not like that tax collector. Two days a week, I fast, or don't eat, to show you respect. I tithe too, giving you one-tenth of what I have." The tax collector stood far away. He looked down at the ground because he was sorry for the wrong things he had done. The tax collector prayed, "'Have mercy on me, God. I am a sinner.'" The religious leader's prayer was very different than the tax collector's prayer. Jesus said that God was happy with the tax collector and he forgave him. The tax collector was humble. He did not think he was better than other people. But God was not happy with the religious leader. The religious leader was proud. He thought he was better than other people. Jesus said, if you put yourself above others, you will be put down. But if you are humble, God will honor you. The tax collector asked God for forgiveness. Everyone has sinned and needs God's forgiveness. Jesus came to take the punishment we deserve for our sin by dying on the cross. We can ask God for forgiveness and because of Jesus, God will forgive our sin. Hi friends, I'm teacher Laura and I'm so happy to be with you today wherever you are. Before we get started, I want to show you two different presents and I want you to think about which is the best present. So I have one present here. It's a really pretty Christmas box. It's got a bow. It sounds like something fun. I just like how it looks. That's very beautiful. And our second present is a paper bag. It's got stuff in it too, but it's a paper bag. So, so as we go through our video, I want you to be thinking about, have it in the back of your mind, what present would you rather get on Christmas, okay? So today we learned that Jesus told a parable or a story about the Pharisee and the tax collector. Now, if you remember, we've talked about tax collectors a couple of times, um, but the people, the Jewish people did not like tax collectors because they were collecting taxes for the Romans and then some of them, a lot of them probably, took a little extra for themselves. So they were kind of, they, they were cheating. They were cheating the system and people didn't like it. And a Pharisee uh, was considered to be a really important religious person. Their name meant separate and they considered themselves really better than everybody else. Um, they followed all of the rules exactly. Now friends, there's nothing wrong with rules. 
rules are actually a good thing. And God gives us rules for life because he loves us and he knows what's best for us. Um, sometimes we get rules from our parents uh, because they love us and they want to keep us safe. And then as a grown up, even though I don't live with my parents, I still have to follow the rules that are called laws. So I can't just drive however fast I want. I have to follow the speed limit. That is a rule that I follow because it keeps me safe and it keeps others safe. But the Pharisees thought that by following the rules, that was what made them, what, that was what would make God love them. But God doesn't love us because of what we do for him. He loves us because he is love. That is who God is. It is, it is just everything in him is to love us. There is nothing that I can do that makes God love me any more or any less. And friends, he loves all of us this way. He loves, even, he even loves people that like, we don't think deserve love very much. Maybe we don't like them very much, but God still loves them. And he loves them the same amount that he loves us. He loves every single person on this entire planet, regardless of what they have done. So remember those presents, remember the presents that I showed you. So, ooh, which one did you think was the better present? Um, okay, I'm gonna open them up. We'll start with the pretty one because, yeah, I wanna do the pretty one first. I've got two paper clips, a rubber band, paper clip. Ah, that was disappointing. <sighs> Let's try the paper bag. Oh my gosh. We got Hot Wheels. I got some Play-Doh. Some crafting pom-poms. <gasps> Sidewalk chalk. Oh man colored pencils oh, and stickers. Oh man, this is such a cool present. That is definitely, I think that that's the better present. But you wouldn't have thought that that was the better present because of how the outside looked. It looked really plain, huh? Well, that's kind of like our story today. The Pharisee did all the things to really look good on the outside, but inside there was nothing good in his heart. He said a lot of things in his prayer, but he never confessed his sins. He never asked for forgiveness, probably because he didn't think that he had done anything wrong. On the, on the outside, the tax collector really looked, um, he was looked down on because of his job. But in his heart, on the inside, he knew that he needed Jesus. So as people who aren't perfect, me, I'm not perfect. I will readily tell you that. We can make a judgment about someone based on what they look like on the outside. But really, God is the ultimate judge of our character. He knows what is in our hearts. All right, friends, it is that time. We are going to practice our memory verse. So please stand up. All right, our memory verse is from Psalm 78.2. I will speak using stories. I will tell of things that have been secret since long ago. Let's do it one more time. Psalm 78, two. I will speak using stories. I will tell of things that have been secret since long ago. Friends, it is a blessing to get to do this with you. I love you and I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.